Hippo attacks three lions crossing the river. Lions have earned a reputation as being dangerous and fearless. They are the undisputed rulers of the jungle. Every species of animal has a territory that it vigorously defends. They'll fight and harm any other animal who dares invade their domain. Hippopotamuses can both float and swim. As soon as an animal crosses the river they claim as their own, conflict is certain. The hippo's hostile attitude makes even the lions reluctant to attack. Here's a film telling the tale of three lions who dared to swim across a river inhabited by hippos. Although both the lion and the hippo are large land animals, the hippo spends at least some of its time in the water. This clash has all the markings of a fascinating showdown. In this video, we're going to tell you about the fight between a hippo with three lions. Stay tuned. A lion. The tiger, Panthera tigris, is the largest cat species with the lion, Panthera leo, coming in at a close second. It belongs to the Felidae family of cats, among other big cats including tigers, leopards, and jaguars. They are native to the savannas and grasslands of Africa, with a small, severely endangered population also residing in a remote corner of India. The lion's powerful deep chest and small rounded head set it apart from other cats. They have short, rounded necks, large ears, and bushy tail tips. The male can be distinguished from the female by his impressive mane. Lions live in packs. The African lion has more social interactions than any other big cat. As many as 30 individuals can make up a pride, although the average is closer to 15, including five or six adult females, their male and female cubs, and two adult males who mate with the females. When male lion cubs achieve sexual maturity, usually around the age of two, they are evicted from the pride of the elder males. Until they find another pride to take over and breed with females, these young males live and travel in small groups, sometimes with siblings and cousins. This typically results in conflicts with the established males of the pride. To get the females of the pride back into heat after he's taken over, a dominant male lion may slaughter all the cubs in the pride. Male lions join the pride once they are accepted by the females. As a result, their place in society is often unstable. In the wild, a lion has just around a three to five year window to gain the favor of the females and slay the pride male. How Lionesses Hunt The females of a pride of lions do the bulk of the hunting. They will employ strategic hunting methods and cooperate to grab animals that would elude them if hunting singly. In addition to using this team approach in competitions, the pride also employs it in social events. What is the purpose of the mane of the lions? The length and luster of a male lion's mane sends a message to potential mates and enemies alike about the animal's fitness and aggressiveness in battle. The mane of a male lion darkens with age, hence the lion with the darkest mane in a pride is the eldest. A lion's roar can be heard up to five miles distant from the animal. Despite being slower than the cheetah, which can run up to 70 miles per hour on land, a lion is capable of reaching speeds of 50 miles per hour over relatively short distances. They have exceptional climbing abilities and can scale the vertical sides of tree trunks with little difficulty. Lions in Africa prey on and eat the enormous mammals that roam the grasslands where they live. Zebras, wildebeests, and antelopes are just some of the species that fall under this category. It takes 7 kilograms of food every day to sustain a male lion. A female needs only 5 kilograms. If you're still with us and enjoying this video, then like and share the content. Let's move forward. A Hippopotamus Hippopotamus amphibious, also known as the hippo, is a semi-aquatic animal native to Africa. The common or river hippo is the other member of the family Hippopotamidae. The common hippo is one of the largest mammals on Earth, ranking up there with elephants and rhinoceroses. The typical male adult can weigh up to 7,000 pounds. The average female weighs around 3,000 pounds. Hippos need to defend territory which contributes to their reputation as aggressive and unpredictable creatures. Why Hippos Are Known As River Horses 
Despite their reputation as river horses among the Greeks, and the fact that you can nearly always see a hippo in a body of water, hippos are actually unable to swim or float. For hours at a time, they'll swim in rivers and lakes with only their eyes showing, but they never go far from the shallows. They manage to find places to stand that are sandy on the riverbed or along the banks. The capacity to hold one's breath for long periods of time makes up for the hippo's lack of swimming ability. Their eyes are protected by a thick membrane, and their nostrils can't be breached because they're sealed shut. Protection from the Scorching Heat of Africa since they are nocturnal, they undertake most of their searching for food at night, but they must find some method to avoid the noon sun. They can keep their body temperatures stable and the mud and water will help heal their skin. How do hippos mate with each other? Most of the mating rituals of hippos take place in the water, and they only mate once every two years. Males and females alike will utilize sounds, gestures, and even their bodily waste to express their desires or lack thereof. To get the female he wants, a male hippo will go to great lengths, including traveling, competing, and even fighting with other males. Hippo's Communication Hippopotamuses have a wide repertoire of sounds they employ to communicate with each other. These noises can easily be identified by their unique characteristics and have been variously labeled as honks, growls, whines, and squeaks. The sound has been likened to human laughter on occasion. Even though hippos are vegetarians, their young need milk from their mothers during the first year of life. They're dependent on their mothers for sustenance for the first few months after birth and remain with them until they're ready to fend for themselves in the wild. Who wins the fight, a hippo or a lion? A what happens when three lions get attacked by a hippo? All three lions in the pride walk down one side of the riverbank and into the river. The cautious group made an attempt to ford the river. Meanwhile, the hippo spotted them and rushed at them angrily. They should not have invaded the hippo's area. While one lion got into some trouble, the other two went back to the bank. The hippos attacked the lion from behind. When a hippo, whether yawning or responding to a threat, this is a common response. A four-foot-tall hippo mouth is large enough for a small child to stand up in. Their mouths are also agape before an assault. The average bite of a hippo is around 12.6 kilopascals. While that may seem like a lot, the bite force of a lion is 4,500 kilo. For now, we'll wrap up today's video. Please click the like button and spread the word about this video. Comment below and tell us what sort of videos you'd like to see us make. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon so that you won't miss out on our new content. See you in the next video.